All right, we're looking at a boutique guitar pick comparison between the Apollo picks and the blue chip picks. Uh, here, with along with the packaging, you see this is what you get when you purchase an Apollo pick. Business card, little descriptor of the picks, email, contact. These are made here in Ohio. And uh, this is the Kaysen uh, traditional fender teardrop shape. And blue chip, same packaging made down in Knoxville, Tennessee, the business card. And this is again, the traditional fender teardrop shape, uh, the TD 60. Both of these guitar picks are around 1.50 mm in terms of their thickness. Uh, my experience with these guitar picks, uh, my, my experience with the blue chip is extensive. I've used the blue chip for probably going on 10 years. This is the actual same pick that I've had for that amount of time. You can see with the light reflection that there are a lot of scratches on it. Um, but really in terms of wear, it's a very, very minimal, um, you know, along the bevel, there's a little bit more of coarseness in terms of how that feels compared to the rest of the guitar pick. But it's really been a, a tried and true pick. So uh, the blue chips cost about $35 and um, you know, you, you get all different shapes and sizes. Uh, just a personal preference, I prefer the traditional teardrop shape. So Apollo, brand new to me. I've owned this for literally a day. So uh, first time I've had a Kaysen guitar pick. And, uh, you know, here's the design pattern. You get different designs, different patterns. Um, with these types of guitar picks, you can get different shapes and different types of thicknesses just like you can with the blue chip. Um, I've not spent a whole lot of time with the Apollo, uh, but the time that I've spent is, has been, I would say, time well spent. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of a comparison using a, a guitar here, but before I do that, um, I'll just talk a little bit of the differences and similarities. Um, I would say the similarities definitely outweigh, outweigh any differences between the two. Uh, in terms of size, they're pretty close to identical. The blue chip is just a tad bigger in terms of the size. In terms of just the sheer weight of the guitar pick, the Apollo feels a little lighter to me than the, than the blue chip. In terms of tone, and here's where we get subjective, um, I hear a little bit more of everything with the blue chip than I do the Apollo, and that could have some pros and cons. Uh, the Apollo to me is a little um, less in terms of volume than the blue chip is. However, it doesn't bring out some of the nuances that could be described as maybe distracting you know, some string noise and things like that uh, with the guitar that, that the blue chip does. Um, so in using, you know, depending on the guitar that you're using, you might find that you like that little bit mellower tone um, with the Apollo than, than with the blue chip. Um, but that's really splitting hairs. Um, I do like how both of these guitar picks roll off the strings and, and how they sound. Um, I get a lot of tone from the guitar. Hey, I play OM models made by Collings. And here in the comparison, I'm gonna use an OM1A JL model. And uh, let's start with that now. All right, we're back. So here's the uh, guitar strings that I'm using, the D'Addario Nickel Browns, Browns Light Gauge. These strings have been on the guitar for about a week. And uh, we're tuned up, we're gonna start. Here is the Apollo pick, open G chord. <laughs> Blue chip, open G chord. Apollo. E chord. Blue chip. Apollo. Blue chip. Let's do some major pentatonics out of the key of G using the Apollo. Let's do some 
minor pentatonic out of the key of A, Apollo. <laughs> Just some strumming uh, D, C, G chords. Apollo pick. Try some higher string strumming. So there's the comparison between the blue chip and the Apollo. Again, the blue chip has been my tried and true guitar pick for about 10 years. Uh, it has withstood the test of time and, in my opinion, well worth the $35 expenditure. The Apollo, very new to me. Uh, however, I do like how it sounds and feels. We'll see if it, uh, if it holds up the way that the blue chip does. Um, in terms of tone, let me know what your thoughts are. I hear a little bit more of everything and a little bit more volume with the blue chip. However, with the Apollo, I hear perhaps just a tad more fundamentalness of the guitar. And um, those are my thoughts, and I uh, hope you like the video.